Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style. Uh, today we are going to talk about daily stock market update. We are going to use easiest and simple trading strategy. And we will figure out is it still bullish trend or what's going on with the stock market today. Uh, please subscribe for YouTube channel and click like button to support the channel. Thank you so much. Let's move to trading view. If you want to learn more about trading view setup, Oh, and yeah, go to the description. There is the link uh, to my training about uh, trading view setup, and I'll also other links to all my trainings and playlists. Okay, let me briefly mention about moving averages. I'm using MA20, yellow line, MA10, red line, and green line, MA5, and, and white line, it's MA200. And MACD indicator, green line, it's a bullish, red, it's a bearish. Yellow lines zero between bullish territory and bearish territory. That's all. That's so simple, but it's not easy because of the emotions. Remember about it, because technical, technical analysis you can anyone can learn it. Even kids can learn it, but um, emotional part it's easy for kids because they don't use emotions, but uh, adults they always control the emotions and they. They listen to stupid news and they they make con confused and they make stupid uh, decisions. Okay, let's let's move it. Let's start from spy. Spy. Uh, let me uh, spy daily, right? Spy daily. It's a bullish trend. Generally, it's, yeah, it's a still bearish trend, right? Generally, still bearish trend, but. Uh, on daily time frame, we are bullish. The last bar, uh, it's a green bar. It touched the May 200. Touched the May 200. Remember, May 200, it's a resistant level. It's a very strong resistant level. It can be, it can be rejected. It's a lot of, also a lot of resistant points here, at this level. Uh, still bullish. Bullish MACD green bullish trend let's move for hours for hours macd bullish trend green line it's about zero line it's a bullish direction last bar above all moving averages bullish direction on one hour i'm oh, oh, sorry on four hours no changes um one hour looks like it wants to connect to this to this uh to this general market direction level trend line market trend line bullish trend on one hour it's a bullish trend let's see yeah price action is uptrend on the magdi it's a bearish bearish divergence right on the magdi it's a bearish divergence on the on, on the histogram it's also bearish divergence on the histogram Bullish trend with bearish divergences. It looks like the spy wants to have some correction on one hour. And it and MACD even yeah, change direction to bearish. Change direction to bearish. It wants to have correction. Sorry about that. It wants to have correction. Let's move to Q's. Q's, Q's daily. Q's daily bullish trend. Last bar, last bar green, bullish day, bullish trend for last how many days we are bullish? One, six days, right? One week with the bullish week, one, one bullish week, green, uh, green MACD, bullish trend, bullish trend on all indicators, right? The MA200 still downtrend, it's a bearish, still generally bearish trend for 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 index for queues for hours uh, for hours bullish trend looks like it wants to to touch the MA 200 and closes some gap over here I think closes gap touch MA 200 a lot of resistance at this level uh, so far it's a bullish yeah, it's a bullish uh, a bullish territory. 
we have some bearish divergences on the on the uh, histogram you see the price action it's uptrend but the histogram it's a downtrend it's even even red it wants to have some correction bullish trend on four hours time frame one hour price action it's a bullish on the MACD it's a bearish it has bearish divergences bearish divergences on MACD and histogram on MACD line uh, bullish trend bullish trend MACD 20 bullish with bearish divergences let's move to DIA Dow Jones Dow Jones daily Dow Jones daily bullish trend last bar above all moving averages uptrend it's a, it, at resistance level it's a lot of resistance at this level um, can be rejected anytime and it has bearish divergences right look at it we are almost at the same level as the up to, uh, at, this, at this level right but the our MACD is so low it's bearish divergences it's building bearish divergences on the histogram on MACD it definitely wants to go bearish so far bullish trend no no issue with that bullish trend with bearish divergences same on the four hours four hours it's a, a lot of resistance here also bullish trend bullish trend with some bearish divergences actually no barrier yeah. bullish trend bullish trend bullish trend and on one hour it's also bull price action bullish trend last bar above all moving averages on the MACD it's a bearish divergence on the histogram bearish divergence bullish trend with bearish divergence it wants to have some correction let's move to IWM Russell 2000 Russell 2000 on daily Russell 2000 on daily it closed above MA200 bullish trend it's far from MA20 and remember when it's far from MA20 it will always wants to connect to MA20 in this case it will be also it will connect to MA20 especially when it's above MA200 it always wants to have in the 200 zone it always wants to have correction be ready for some correction bull and it's yeah specifically here it has bearish divergence right look at it this is the resistant level but it has the price action is lower uh, let me show you let me show you on the yeah you see this is the yeah, almost Uh, still still bearish not we need some it still needs to go up to to get to the same level still yeah, still still bearish yeah okay bullish bullish trend on all indicators bullish trend on all indicators on daily time frame let's move to four hours four hours bullish trend it's last bar above all moving averages bullish trend on all indicators in four hours one hour uptrend bullish trend MACD just change direction to be to bearish bearish crossover and only a histogram has bearish divergence uptrend direction with bearish divergence on the bearish divergence on one hour okay let's move to apple 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 daily let's see apple daily green bar uptrend direction buy signal ma5 did bearish crossover i'm uh, sorry bullish crossover over ma20 bullish trend macd green bullish trend bullish trend on all indicators on daily for apple four hours four hours is a bullish trend uptrend 
some on histogram, some bearish divergence. I don't know what this. Let me enable. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Bullish trend. Bullish trend on all indicators. MACD green. Bullish trend. Four hours. Let's check one hour. One hour. Same bullish trend. Last last bar above all moving averages. It's a bullish trend. And uh, on MACD, it has bearish divergence, right? It has bearish divergence. It wants to go bearish. Bullish trend. It wants to go to go bearish. So far, maybe it will move up, upper, higher. The price action and it will remove bearish divergences, but so far it's a bearish divergences on the MACD and the histogram also. Look at it. Uh, on one hour, it wants to have some correction. Let's move to Tesla. Tesla. Tesla daily. Daily time frame. Price action uptrend. MA5 did bearish bullish crossover. It's yeah, it's still below MA20 on daily. MACD bullish, it's a green bullish trend. Um, Tesla is kind of weak. It looks like every time it touched the May 20, it wants to go lower. And now it touched the May 20, you will see if it will go lower. Still bullish. Bullish trend on MACD. Bullish. Bullish for Tesla on daily. Let's check for hours. For hours, MACD bullish. Bullish trend, MA5. Still bullish last bar, still above May 20 and 10. Bullish trend. Let's check one hour. Uh, one hour it's bearish, right? One hour it's bearish already. It, yeah, it has it has bearish divergences and bearish. Yeah, the last bar is still above all moving averages, but on MACD it's already bearish divergences. Bearish divergences, green day. Is bearish divergences, green bar above all moving averages, bearish divergences on one hour. Okay, let's do summary. Let's do summary. All indexes on all time frames and uh, Apple and Tesla, they all bullish on all time frames. Only one negative, they are far, the bars far from A20, they always want to connect to A20. And on one hour, on, the, on all on all time frames, they are far from it. When they wants to connect, they all want to connect to it. Twenty, and on one hour, uh, they all have bearish divergences. They all have bearish divergences. They want to have. They want to have correction. Every index, every index wants to have correction on one hour, even on four hours time frame. They have bearish divergences. I believe it will have bearish divergences next week, maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday it will be will be correction on one hour time frame. Still bullish trend, but remember generally if we check weekly, still bearish direction, right? Still bearish market. Actually on weekly it's a bullish also MACD on monthly. On monthly, yeah. Monthly it's even above MA20 on my for yeah for Dow Dow is strong. But let's say let's check on Qs. Uh, well, Qs is still bearish, right? Bearish trend on monthly. Uh, on weekly bullish. Okay, yeah, it's a bullish time frame on all bullish direction on all time frames with bearish divergences only on short time frame on one hour. On one hour. Similar you see. Okay, thank you so much. Let's move. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not. A, I'm sorry. Let's move to disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Please read it. And let's move to last page. Thank you for watching simple training style video. I do publish uh, daily updates, weekly and monthly updates for 
stocks, indexes, ETFs, and cryptos, please subscribe for all my channels, click like button, and thank you so much for your efforts, and good luck by now.